We will start with discrete distributions. And the first one we will talk about is discrete uniform. And we, we will actually um, talk about this distribution uh, considering the sample space or the set of outcomes is this set from A uh, to B integers from A to B uh, and consecutive integers. Okay. So in this case, of course, since this is a uniform distribution, this entails that you actually have equal probable outcomes, which means since you have in this sample set uh, B minus A plus one uh, elements, and each have the same probability, uh, then that means the probability for each one is one over B minus A plus one, so that the total probability is equal to one. So based on this distribution, you can compute the expected value, which turns out to be A plus B over two, which is the exactly midpoint uh, of the set. And uh, you can compute the second moment here based on uh, the formula for uh, sum of squares, uh, which uh, turns out to be this quantity. And then of course, using these two, you can actually find the variance of this is uniform distribution as, uh, as this. In general, okay. So here we are, uh, we, we, we considered to compute these statistics. We con constrained ourselves to this set from integers from A up to B. But in general, that doesn't have to be. So the sample space need not consist of consecutive integers. Uh, your sample space could be, for instance, the set 1, 1 1.5, 3, and 75, in which case uh, all probabilities of these outcomes would be 1 over 4. But you see, uh, these formulas are no longer valid. But then, since this is a simple distribution, you can actually obtain the statistics quite easily. So this is your probability uh, mass function. Okay, next we will talk about uh, possibly the simplest um, discre discrete distribution, which is the Bernoulli distribution. And this is alternatively also called the Bernoulli trial. Now here you see the value P here in parentheses, and this will be uh, the notation for the parameters of the distribution. Okay, so here P is the parameter of the Bernoulli distribution. And when I say Bernoulli P, okay, you should understand what I mean by that. Or for instance, if I say Bernoulli 0 0.3, Bernoulli 0 0.6, Bernoulli 0 0.9, Bernoulli 1 half, et cetera, okay, that should mean something to you, which is what? Okay, so what is the Bernoulli trial? The Bernoulli trial represents a two outcome random experiment, okay? Success versus failure. So these are the terminology we use to address this possible outcomes. So for the definition of the random variable, we use the outcomes one and zero and the probability assigned to success, which is represented by one is P and the probability we attach to failure which is the outcome zero uh, is naturally one minus P. Okay, so based on this, uh, obviously the expected value is P, the variance is P times one minus P, and you can actually compute the characteristic function and the generating function given in here, quite straightforward, you just apply the definitions. So in which scenarios can we use the Bernoulli trial? Naturally, for a coin toss, this is a Bernoulli trial with, uh, if, if you have a fair coin, that's a Bernoulli trial with P equals one half. Six on a die or not, okay, a, a die throw. Mm, well, clearly the sample space is one to six, so it's not a two outcome random experiment, but if you define the outcome of six as a success and the others as a failure, okay, how you define this distribution, then you have a two outcome random experiment in which the success probability is one over six. So this would give you a Bernoulli one over six random variable, okay? Or for instance, um, baby boy or a girl, for instance, uh, modeling uh, the, the gender of a baby, okay? Of, of a, a random baby, for instance. Um, 
Now, actually, this one is a good example of all models are wrong, for instance, because, well, in general, we assume this to be 50-50, but there are very small fluctuations in, in, the, uh, uh, in the population. So you see, um, even with something quite straightforward as this, uh, mathematical model uh, is not really, really exact, okay? So it's just a model. You have to be aware of what it can do and what it cannot do. Or another thing, whether it rains on a day or not, uh, well, the probability depends on the place, the, the, the time of the year, etc. Pass fail in a course or, for instance, object detection on radar. Do you detect an object or not, for instance? 